In this video, learn how to use tape reading to make a quality trade in Target. Hi, I'm Mike Bellafieri, co-founder of SMB Capital, and we're a proprietary trading firm located in Midtown Manhattan. And I'm also the author of the Trading Classic, One Good Trade, and the Playbook. In this video, a junior trader and I share how we use tape reading to find an exceptional entry for the hottest stock of the day. Let's get to work on sharing these important trading lessons so you can grow your trading account. All right, so general context on why I was trading Target on this day was they had really strong earnings and gapped up making a new all-time high in the pre-market at this 150.31 level. So we see a lot of important areas on the chart. This 147, you can't see all the way back to post-market, but it was an important inflection. And Matt, I thought particularly the online sales revenue numbers were super good, which not only were these earnings uh, really good, but they were good in the right type of way. Definitely. In the, in the age of COVID right now, these online sales increasing is a really good indicator for potential more strength in a company because we're seeing just a continuous shift to more online sales, and it's probably expected to be that way going into the winter months as well. Yeah, so look, we're going to use our reading the tape skills right here, but we're going to do it in the context of really strong stock, really good earnings, acting well. How do we get along? Definitely. This is a setup that we have given playbooks on that we've, you've probably heard of called like the dip and rip setup. So we're going to see a nice dip off the open and just real buying around this 147 level and then a nice reversal and trend higher for the rest of the morning. So we're going to talk about how using the tape reading skills in the starting 5-10 minutes can show you those important price levels developing that you can make a bigger picture trade off of. Yeah, look, and I just want to say, so there are going to be certain trades that we make just off of our reading the tape skills, scalps, momentum trades. And that's a perfectly legitimate way to build a career. It's hard, there's not a lot of people that can, can do it. You have to have certain types of talents. That's the extreme. But all of the really great active traders on the desk, all the guys that have made eight figures this year, all the seven figure traders that we've built over the years have built their reading the tape skills. They have reading the tape skills. They all use them a little bit differently. And so when you hear reading the tape, that doesn't just mean scalping. Even swing traders want to develop reading the tape skills because it helps you to find the entry point that gives you the best risk reward. It helps you to take off stock at the right price, put, back stock, put stock back on at the right price, trade around your core really, really well. And so like, just like people want to learn a new technical indicator to help them make better trades, you want to do this with reading the tape. And look, I'll just say this flatly, of all of the indicators that we use on the desk from the beginning of since we've been doing this, from the beginning of since I started trading, this is the very best indicator that we've used year over year through time. And so to sort of sit there and say, I don't need to learn reading the tape, to sit there and say, I can't read the tape, I'm not going to read the tape, it's too hard for me, or that's something for somebody else. You're welcome to say that. You're welcome to say that. But that belies all the success we're seeing with our top traders here. And our job really is just to share with the trading community why guys are good, what leads to them being so good, and, you know, give you some exposure to the skills that can help you to become as good as them. So on that note, this is super important for the type of trading that we do, but it's important for a lot of other trading as well. Sorry to cut in, Matt. No, no worries. Thanks for adding that. I mean, reading the tape is definitely one of the most important tools that I have in my trading right now. So 
I definitely really agree with that, even on these longer-term trades that we're going to see here. So on the open, we have a momentum breakdown after this rejection through 148, which had some buying on the open. So we're really going to see how we pull into this 147 level. Since we see weakness, we want to see continued weakness and a breakdown through that level. So it's going to be a really strong trending opening drive. So let's see how we pull into 147 for the first time. So you can see we hold a bit above. We will have a test below a little later, but first time there, clear buyers at 147. Just hold above it by a couple, couple cents and come back to try and test this 148. If you want to learn three real-world setups that our traders use, including the simple setup that we teach all of our new traders and the setup that turned one of our traders into a seven-figure big money earner, check out the free webinar that we're currently running. Just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing right now at the top right-hand corner of your screen. That's going to open up this free registration page in the new window. So don't worry, you're not going to lose this video. You're going to learn more in a couple of hours from this trading workshop than from years of online education. So we're retesting 147, and this time we break under. So you really want to see a hold under if there's weakness here. But you can see the tape kind of stalls underneath here, where you'd really expect volume and velocity to downside pick up. Come right to that 147, and it even had to the zero cent held for a second or two. And we're getting a nice bounce again. So again, just indicating there's buyers at this 147. It's had strong earnings, good news gap up to all-time highs, could just be more accumulation from funds, day traders getting interested for potential intraday reversal. There's a lot of reasons people are going to be looking at this dip here, and that's something I'm definitely keeping in mind. So I think of that as the rebid. When you have a level and the stock gets below that level, and you think because it got below the level, it should really go down, leaks down a little bit, goes down a little bit, but not that much and there's not that much volume below that level, and then they rebid that important level, that's one of those very important reading the tape signals that you can use to make trade decisions. That's one of the things where experienced traders say, there's strength there, there's buying there. Let me now use that to make a trade decision. Thanks, Matt. Yep, so I'll kind of just skip a little bit ahead so you can see how this develops. So you can see we get over this 147 and then, and then we start to hold. So I'll skip to the next part that I want to highlight now. So this is where we get the real hold and then a move to the top of the range. So you can see off this 147, pretty steep bounce. Gets us right back into the middle of this range where all this volume and buying had been done in the pre-market. Back over this 148 pretty quickly. Much faster than we saw on the down moves. So there's clearly buyers in this stock. That's really what we want to show on this dip. Rebids and just constantly stepping up, stepping up into strength. So then we'll skip ahead to where we finally get a breakout. Next really important area on a trade like this is these previous all-time highs that we made in the pre-market. So if we can see a move over 150 and a hold over 150, then there's really no resistance level above that is like a massive indicator of selling. We saw clear buying on the open. So I'd really be thinking, okay, this can trend on the day. This had really good news. Uh, all different types of time frame traders are going to be looking at this and in institutions. So I'll skip ahead to when we come up through this 150 and the volume that comes in is a really good indicator that people are even buying through that level and are still interested in the stock. So here we are coming up on 150 for the first time or testing over it and see how we'll see how quickly this moves up once we're over the level and we'll see this volume bar here really increase. So you can see that's about the, as high of a volume bar as the open now 
on this move through all-time highs to make a new all-time high. So took some profit into that area from my 148.22 entry. So like when we were kind of holding, sorry, like in here, holding over 148 and curling up, take off risk over the new all-time high, but then I'm looking to potentially hold over 150 after clear volume and buyers came in, the most volume candle of the day, and continually just see that trend. I know Target's a little bit of a slower mover and things take a little bit longer to go up, so just being patient here, watching this consolidation, and then skip ahead a bit more. Hey Matt, I wanna point out those prices are above the opening range. Those prices are above any of the pre-market ranges. So that is another go signal for us. Strong earnings, tape looks good, above VWAP, above the opening range, above any of the pre-market resistance levels. And so when you're saying, hey, this is making a strong move, it's, it's important to sort of see that this is above any of the, the shorter term resistance levels from the open and from the pre-market. Another huge check in our favor. Definitely. That's very important that we're holding over so many previously important resistance levels. So I'll skip ahead a tad. See, as we start to really hold over 150, those tens held, then the 20s. So I'm really thinking this thing's strong. They're really holding it up. So this is about where I enter long for like a, a new trade pretty much. I'd cover or sold into this high, but I really like how we're holding over 150. I tried to bid in to 150. Uh, I got like 150.15. Risking just like to the bottom of these wicks here. I'm really expecting it to hold or at least if we leak under again, hold a little higher. And we can just see continually stepping up bids. I'm just being patient here, thinking you're in the driver's seat, holding over all the pre-market levels, many variables in our favor, including volume, technicals, and as it seems, the tape holding up well. And then I'll kind of skip ahead to just show how this developed. This was kind of just moving up trailing stops and letting this really trend since we had all these information all this information with checks in our favor. And you can see to finish out this trade, once we had that strong move over 150, retest, hold, and then that breakout over all time highs, and it just trended for another two points upwards. There's nothing really to see on the tape there because it's just continually stepping up bids no real selling pressure and you're just in the driver's seat moving up your stop either using something like this 9 EMA trailing stops previous breakout areas um, however you kind of like to do that trade management is more personalized but just seeing how something like that you gather this information in the morning where the buyers are how are they accumulating is it aggressive can they hold it over uh, previous ranges and when you get all those things in combination together, it can lead to a nice, um, more hands-off trade to manage while still. Can you show when we start to get above the opening range and get above those pre-market highs and uh, we, we get up and up, uh, maybe up into that 150 area and then we pull right back into that 149 level. We pull uh, right here. back in that first time. And I, we were talking about this in real time when it pulled into that 149 and then it rebid really quickly again at 149 and it showed you some of the strength there at that 149 and you make an excellent point which is yeah you can momentum trade this you can scalp this but you can also in a stock that has really good earnings that's at a really good price on our long-term daily charts that 
you, 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 light, you think there's a news catalyst behind it and a strong, we're in a strong market overall. The overall market is acting well. You can buy pull-ins in a stock like this that has a catalyst and you can give it a run. You can find an area of support from the tape and buy it and let it run. You can buy a pull-in after it shows you the strength. Like for me, when it starts to get up towards that 150 level and got above its opening range, it got above those pre-market resistance levels, and I saw that on good volume, I wanted to buy that pull-in. Now you started buying that much, much sooner. You could do that as well. But I wanted to sort of see all the signals green, showing strength above the opening range, showing the, the, the volume. And then when I saw that, I wanted to buy that pull-in. And when I saw that pull-in towards 149 and I saw it rebid, right there, to me, that signaled the strength. And so from there, that's when I decided to put on a swing, put on my swing. I ended up selling completely out of it at 155, uh, actually this morning, right on the open. I took some profits uh, yesterday into st steep up moves, but the swing, you know, you could, you can, and you can make, you could have made this an intraday swing yesterday. You can make this into a two-day swing like I did, taking some off on the open today. Now, 155 is a really big resistance level uh, today and has been a bunch of times. You go back and look at the chart. And so you, you make an excellent point, which is you can use these skills to help you to get into to really good swing positions. And, and that's something that we were talking about what I was doing yesterday real time on the chat. I think we were talking with Graham about this as well. And so you find, us, you find an area of support on the chart. You find, an area, you find an area of support using your reading the tape skills. That rebid that we talked about, which you talked about at 147, you saw it again at 149, that rebid from the tape, and you give it a run. You buy it, you set a stop. Depends on the stock, where your stop is going to be. In that case, I gave it about a 60 cent stop and see if this thing will f figure out a way to go to high a day or really, really showing some overextension that might get you out of it. Definitely. Yeah, I remember talking through this in real time and seeing you uh, articulate why you were bidding in here and accumulating some because this really strong rebid of 149 and then we were talking about really seeing that hold over 150 that was important and yeah, put in a very strong position. Yeah, and we, it was a good discussion yesterday. And remember, we're doing this because also the earnings are really good and the earnings are really good in the right way. Online sales are really growing. We love that about, we love that about the stock. That gives us a really good catalyst for new buyers to come into it. And then on top of that, our charts look good. And then on top of that, we're finding a great price to enter. That's good trading. Appreciate it, Matt. Good example right here of how you can use your reading the tape skills to make great trades, to make better trades. Talk to you guys soon. Hey, go ahead and click our subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos they're producing for you in the trading community. And please take the time to add your feedback in the comment section for what videos you'd like for us to produce next and what you found helpful from this video. From all of us at SMB, train and trade well.